one of our viewer asked us a question what are the differences between simulation and emulation do you have similar question in your mind keep watching this video till the end We are quite familiar with the terms simulation and emulation. Both are part of VLSI. Now the question is how they are different. Today we will try to understand it. First, simulation. A simulation is the imitation of the operation of a real world process or system over time. Simulations require the use of models. Those models represent the key characteristics or behavior of the selected system or process. Simulation represents the evolution of the model over time. A simulator acts like a system system but may not necessarily abide by all the rules of the system. For example, take flight simulator. It feels like we are flying in an aeroplane but in reality we are completely disconnected from flying the plane. Another example is car simulator which is used for training purpose. When you are in a car simulator it seems that you are riding a car although you are on a seat which moves according to the visuals you are watching on the screen. Now HDL simulators are softwares that simulate expressions written in VHDL, Verilog or System Verilog any one of the hardware description languages. To verify its correctness before implementing on silicon. Simulation is the process of describing the behavior of the circuit using input signals, output signals and delays. Functional simulation is necessary for complex designs because early detection of logical errors saves significant time and expense. Now, if we move to the analog circuit, the similar kind of simulation is done by SPICE simulators through pure SPICE, accelerated SPICE and first SPICE methodologies. Commercial HDL simulators are VCS from Synopsys, NCSIM from Cadence, Model Sim from Mentor Siemens. For analog simulation, most popular simulators are HSPICE from Synopsys, Spectre from Cadence and L from Menta Siemens. Next is emulation. Emulation is a system that acts exactly like something else and abides by all of the rules of the system being emulated. It's like duplicating every aspect of the original device's behavior. It is efficiently a complete imitation of another system from being binary compatible with the emulated system inputs and outputs but operating in a different environment to the environment of the original emulated system. The rules are permanently fixed and cannot be changed. In today's time, hardware emulation has become one of the popular tools for verification. Emulation started in late 80s and implemented with commercial FPGAs. It became specially popular in the 1990s to verify processor and graphic designs that require long sequences of test cycles. In the past few years, the emulation user community has expanded exponentially by the addition of software developers to the traditional base of hardware design designers and verification engineers. Emulators can have higher capacity than simulators. Emulation become more significant as single processor performance stopped scaling. The logic simulation processes is not suitable for parallel processing. Simulators are struggling with both the growing size and complexity of design. Hardware emulation gained popularity because of its capability to debug both the hardware and software of complex SOC designs. Emulators are a lot more expensive than simulators. Emulators. Good thing is that emulation cost per gate has steadily declined over the years. This means that they have been getting more affordable and increasingly required. The most significant advantage of emulation over simulation is speed and its ability to operate in system environment. Commercial emulators are Zebu from Synopsys, Palladium from Cadence, Velos from Menta Siemens. Now let's see where to use simulation and where to use emulation. HDL simulators are good for hardware debug in the early stages of the design cycle when the design is focused at the block level. Easy to use, quick to set up and amazingly first to compile a design. They are exceptionally flexible to debug a hardware design. They support several design iterations per day as long as the design size is reasonable. They become problematic when number of gates increases. So simulators basically fails at system level design verification. They are not capable of embedded software verification also. On the other hand, hardware emulation can find almost all design bugs, both in the hardware or in the SOC's embedded software. They accommodate any design size, they require a long time to set up and they are relatively slow to compile compared to the simulator. Modern emulators support many concurrent users including via remote access. Well, we have tried to explain in simple and lame 
layman's language the difference between simulation and emulation simulators and emulators if any question is arising in your mind don't forget to add in the comment section that's much for today we will come with another topic in the next video till then stay tuned stay focused